hi and welcome back to the red panda co so i wanted to give a little bit of intro to the video you're about to watch <laughs> um it is it's currently march 24th uh it is my 30th birthday and it's gonna be the future for me <laughs> but just in a few minutes for you um i am this will be a vlog of the next few days. I've got a lot planned. One of the biggest things that I am going to be doing is I'm going to go camping. And of course, as you know, I have a vlog on this channel already. I do love to take my smart dolls with me. And so I'm going to try to take two. Um, it is kind of hard to juggle two, but I will at least be taking one smart doll with me. And so, and we're going to a really beautiful river called the Buffalo River. So I am hoping that I don't throw my phone in the water <laughs> and lose it. Uh, but I do want to get a little bit of footage there because I'm really excited. Now, I don't know how it's going to translate because all I have is an iPhone. Um, however, if you do also want to get more footage from a different perspective, I am actually going with my friend, uh, Dragon Fox Studios, and she will be uh, recording things as well, I believe. If she does record a vlog with me, I will link it down below so you can see that too. I do believe she's also going to bring a couple of her smart dolls, so we are going to have a smart doll party. Anyway, I'm really excited about that, but I wanted to give a little intro to this. I might also include some of my birthday celebrations. I'm going to have a couple of them, so if you see a couple clips of that, that's what that is. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, let me know. If not, that's okay. <laughs> Mostly these vlogs are kind of for me just to be able to look back on. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. Let's get on to the actual vlog. Since I'm in the mood to record videos, by the way, I didn't mention we're also kayaking. It's like the end of March and the water is going to be freezing but I'm really excited anyway. That's why I said I didn't wanna like try to lose my phone or drop it in the water. I got this like waterproof case. <laughs> so hopefully that prevents me, but I wanna show, like I wanna be able to record, like I wanna enjoy it in the moment, but I also wanna record stuff for this vlog because it's just really pretty. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there. Thank you. 
hers. <laughs> oh my god, you just trapped it. <laughs> all right so as you can see we made it two hours from the house i like wandered off by myself so i didn't look like a weirdo um everybody's setting up the camp over there i'll show you that in a second but i wanted to say hi this is cool it's like a it's a trail it's kind of neat hold on this is like a trail from the bathroom and it goes up this way. And then there's a trail this way to the campsites. It's Sunday, so like there's hardly anybody here, which is nice. There are the bluffs over there and the river is down there. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you wanna help with, uh... Can I help you get me doing that? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that's the front. So, just hold it there. Hold it steady. You gotta... Focus on you. Oh, there you go. My <laughs> poor marshmallow. <laughs> Lights moving around. Oh. You didn't blow up. No, I'm glad I didn't.
I'm a little bit terrified to have my phone out, but I couldn't help it. <laughs> I've got it in this like waterproof case. I've already gone over rapids and gotten a bunch of water in my boat. It's so clear. This is like the calm before the storm, before another rapid. I have no idea how this sound, how this is gonna sound because it's in a bag. So I might just do subtitles if you can't hear anything. No. <sighs> Cats. I literally just hit record and my cat over here, he's, stop it. He's, I just put like lights. I'll have to show you a picture of it. Um, but I just draped some lights over my window and the cat hammock is right. Like he's sitting here and the light is like right next to him. And so he's trying to, he's trying to bite it. It's a pain in the butt. Anyway, um, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is when you're watching this video. Um, I just wanted to uh, wrap up kind of my weekend vlog thing, the camping trip slash float trip that just happened. Um, as you can tell by the footage that I got and the pictures and stuff like that, it was beautiful. It was. Um, so this is going to be a little bit of like a a story time situation. Also, I got a new chair, as you can see. My sister got it for me for my birthday. I'm really excited. It's like sitting on a couch. I was sitting on just like a, a wooden kitchen chair. <laughs> so this is definitely uh, better. <laughs> but anyway, um, so this is gonna be kind of like a story time of like how yesterday, or how the trip went. I'll do like a short version of it. I'll do a short version of the events and then I'll kind of go into a little bit more detail. So if you um, are not interested in it or whatever, um, I'll give you the short end first and then you can, I'll tell you when it kind of ends <laughs> and then you can kind of move on. So, um, got some milk tea we got from an Asian store. So <clears throat> basically the short end is, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, but it was also scary. <laughs> uh, I had never dealt with a river that aggressive before. And so it was a little bit torturous. <laughs> and uh, we are all fine. I got a few harsh bruises on my legs because of the rocks. But other than that, um, we're fine. I went with my friend. Um, I, I think she likes to go by TJ. So I'll just call her TJ. Uh, Dragon Fox Studios. Um, I went with my sister and then my sister's friend. And the camping portion was a lot of fun. Uh, as you can tell by the video, <laughs> we had a lot of fun, uh, like roasting marshmallows and eating dinner and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun. The river part was not so fun. <laughs> and I don't, uh, my friend had gone before 
and she really loved it and so that's the reason she kind of invited me to go do it and then my sister and her friend invited themselves and um we thought it would be a lot of fun it wasn't so much but we survived everything is totally fine and i'm happy to be home working again <laughs> and yeah so that's kind of the short the short version of events um so if you kind of don't care about <laughs> the details feel free to click out of the video thanks for watching it and um yeah but if you if you like kind of chatty this which I do a lot um get like a warm drink or something like that and just like sit and hang out I guess this is kind of like a hangout story time thing so drink first um so <clears throat> the the trip started out with a two-hour trip drive to the Buffalo National River which is which is two hours away <laughs> um I live in Arkansas and so it was just kind of more, I believe it was south of where I'm at. I'm in the Northwest Arkansas area. So like, just like the corner of Arkansas. And so we went a little bit more south. Um, I will, <clears throat> it was a great trip about 20 minutes before we got there. We ran out of, uh, there was no internet connection. There was no call service, no cell service, no nothing. So that was a little bit scary. Like I knew that going into it that that was going to happen but I just didn't realize it would happen like on the way there so for the first like for the last 25 minutes of the drive I couldn't get a hold of my sister or her friend and I couldn't get a hold of TJ and so it was like uh, it was it was scary <laughs> but we kind of just drove on and luckily it was really easy the campsite it was just an all tent campsite it was primitive camping um where there was no hookups or anything like that but luckily they did have flushing bathrooms which was amazing and um TJ actually got there first and so she picked a campsite that was just right across the street from the bathrooms um in one of the the clips you can see me going through this like reedy area it was kind of like sugar cane or bamboo or whatever it was that was off to the side of the bathrooms and so we did manage to get there um the campsite was awesome I mean it was just little there wasn't a whole lot of people there because we got there on Monday sorry we got there Sunday afternoon and we stayed and we floated on Monday. And so um, a spring break had just passed. So most of the people had already left. So it was kind of nice. Camping was great. Uh, I don't, well, <laughs> the camping part of like cooking and hanging out with everybody was really fun. I typically struggle with sleeping in a, in a tent. Um, we, my husband and I went, oh, my husband went as well. I, I don't think I mentioned him earlier. He went as well. He didn't float with us though. He just stayed at the campsite, which thank goodness he did because it was terrifying. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so my husband and I, what we do is we got this big like mattress topper and we sleep on that and that's really not all that comfortable. So um, sleeping is a little bit of a struggle and it was really cold. <laughs> so when my, my husband kind of runs really hot and so when he gets, when he shivers, like you know it's cold <laughs> because he doesn't get cold very often. So it was pretty chilly. But <clears throat> the first night was really awesome. We got to hang out with my sister and her friend and uh, my friend TJ and then my husband. And it was really fun. And then we woke up really early the next morning, made breakfast, all of that. And <clears throat> we went to get the kayak rental, which was amazing. That was a good experience. Um, I should have understood like the first, uh, like... <laughs> When we went to go get our canoe run or my our kayak rentals, um, I should have listened when she said. So the temperature outside was about sixty degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but sixty degrees, about sixty sixty five degrees Fahrenheit. But the water was like forty degrees Fahrenheit, which is actually pretty cold. <laughs> um, and so she, the the person selling us the rental, was like, "You need to have." Um, you need to have an extra pair of clothing in a dry bag with you. Um, it's required because of the possibility of hypothermia. And so I should have listened to that and understood, like, maybe this is a little bit more dangerous than I was expecting. Like, I kind of expected this nice, chill experience, this nice, relaxing experience in nature. And that is not what I got. <laughs> um, so that should have been my first clue to, like, maybe re-examine my choices. But it didn't. We went and got some extra clothes. We put it in the dry bag, which thank goodness we did because we did end up getting wet. Spoiler alert. 
Um, and so it was, it was definitely a struggle. Um, but <laughs> we got, we got all of that worked out. We paid for our kayak. We went to the launch site. They brought our kayaks down. The guy was super nice, um, who brought our kayaks down. He kind of just gave us a little bit of like, Hey, look out for this, look out for that. Kind of like a tour guide, but like he wasn't going with us. <laughs> so he pointed out some like things that we were going to see later. And he talked about like, don't worry, it's fine. If you flip over, just get your kayak flipped back over. And if in doubt, just paddle it out. Like he was trying to be super positive and super great. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you know, and he made this joke about, oh yeah, and then there's this waterfall. Don't worry, just, just kind of glide right over it. It'll be fine. Obviously it was a joke. There wasn't really a waterfall kind of. I'll go into that later. I was feeling decently confident. Um, you'll see a, 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 a clip of the very first rapid. So this river has rapids. I have only ever kayaked on a lake, which doesn't move <laughs> unless there's like a boat that goes by and a very mild river. Um, there's another river closer to us, about 30 minutes away from us called the Elk River. And it's a very slow moving river. It's a party river. A lot of party years go there and they get the ice chest, floaty ice chest with the alcoholic adult beverages and stuff like that. And uh, so that one's not as fun. It's also a little bit more shallow. It's not as big as the Buffalo River, um, but it doesn't have any rapids. And so I, you know, kayaked that and floated that quite a few years ago. It's been a while, but I did do that and I really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. So I was expecting in my head that it would be very similar to that. And so when I saw the first rapid, I was like, oh, I got this. We're totally fine. So he, we get out there, we hit the first rapid, totally fine. It was really fun. It's kind of like a roller coaster, right? So you're like, it's taking you down and it, it was really fun. Second rapid was a little bit terrifying. Um, one of the things he said was not to go down a rapid sideways, otherwise you would flip over. And I almost did and I saved myself at the last second and straightened myself out and got down. It was a little bit terrifying, but I was still having fun. Um, so <clears throat> the, all of the footage that you're gonna get like on the actual river was the first a uh, little over an hour <laughs> of our trip because what I did, by the way, side note, I wanna link down below the phone case that I took with me. It was around my neck and it was a waterproof phone case and that thing was awesome. <laughs> I just have to shout that out. It's not sponsored or anything like that. But when I flipped over the first time, it was dangling into the water and it was totally fine. So anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the footage that you see is probably the first like hour, a little over an hour, uh, right before I flipped for the first time. And it was amazing. It was beautiful. It was the, the cliff sides and the bluffs were so amazing. I, I really hope, I, I, video is not really gonna convey exactly what it looked like, but hopefully you get an idea of what it looked like because it was beautiful. It was, I mean, the river was amazing. The whole river was amazing. Um, but so that, that's the footage you're going to get the, the two, uh, my sister and, and her friend, Cassie, she specifically said she wanted to be in the video in the, in the vlog. So, uh, that's why I mentioned her name. <laughs> um, but she and my sister got a tandem kayak, which meant there's two seats on the kayak. If you see two people like that, that's them. Uh, they were right in front of me when I was just on my own kayak. And then TJ was behind me in her own kayak. So um, it was a lot of fun. We did that for about an hour and 10 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. And then I flipped and everything changed after that. I freaked out. I will be honest and I, I panicked. I freaked. I didn't know what to do. I flipped over. The water was so icy instantly. My body was numb and the water just took me and I just freaked out. Like the water wasn't that deep. Like had I been able to stand and the water wouldn't have taken me, it would have only been, you know, up to my hip. Um, but it was the fact the water was so cold and the current was so fast. So I, I ended up avoiding rocks and one, and I, one I didn't and it knocked me over. And so I panicked and I was just like, like, what do I do? I am like crying and, and like yelling at my sister. My sister and her friend pull off to the side. My sister comes and saves me. I managed to flip the boat over, which is what the instructor guy told us. 
to do. So I managed to get that over, but I couldn't move without the river taking me and I was too afraid to do that. And so my, my sister managed to grab the boat and pull me off to the more like calm side. And I will admit as a 30 year old person that I like sobbed because I was so scared. It's a little bit embarrassing, but I want to be transparent <laughs> and get you to understand how scared I was. I can laugh about it now because I'm away from it, but I was terrified. Like that was, it was scary. Um, cause I felt didn't have the ability to stop. And so I, we took a, a while break and I regretted everything. <laughs> I, I was just terrified. This float, mind you, is anywhere from a four to six hour float. And we were only in an hour and there was no cell service. We all had our cell phones, not knowing that the river would be so aggressive. Um, but we couldn't use it. Um, the only reason I brought my phone was because I wanted to record video for the vlog, which I regretted afterwards because it was terrifying. What you will see was all just the calm spots. Obviously I put my phone away when we went over rapids. So you wouldn't have seen any of those, but just take my word for it. They were scary. <laughs> um, but anyway, I started just regretting my choices instantly. I was like, I can't do this anymore, but I had no other choice. There was no walking back because there was so many of the, um, like the edges of the river uh, were bluffs. There wasn't even places for miles for you to even walk. And so there was no option to like walk back or anything like that. The only option we had was to just keep moving forward. And that was like the worst like three hours ever because I was just paranoid to flip back over because it was just such a scary experience and my whole body was numb. And so it was just super scary. So we decided, my sister decided to just switch her friend and me so that I was in the tandem kayak with her so she can kind of watch me and help me through it because she knew I was struggling. And uh, so... <laughs> We struggled a lot. I panicked a lot. I tried really hard to keep it in, but I think I kind of got on her nerves because she was trying to like hold us both together. She was trying not to be scared and she was also trying to like help me through it, but I was panicking. So she was like, it it's one of those things. <laughs> so we did manage, we did flip one more time. Um, we, we did really, really good for the next like two and a half hours. We just booked it. We didn't even look at the scenery. I couldn't even enjoy it anymore because I was so scared. Uh, it was still very beautiful though. I will say the the bluffs were still amazing. The water was beautiful. Um, but it was really hard for me to enjoy it because I had no idea where we were. There was no mile markers. The, the float that we took was nine miles. And so we had no idea like what mile we were on. Nothing, there was nothing. So we just had to keep going and just pray that we got to the end soon because we were, I was terrified. Even um, my sister and my sister's friend was just over it. Like my sister's friend flipped a couple times and she had like all the important stuff. So by the time I flipped the first time, I put my phone away. So nothing after, you know, after I flipped, I didn't get any sort of recording after that. <laughs> um, but I got enough footage, I think, that you can kind of get the hint of what we did. And just enough for me to like remember back uh, to the hour of fondness that I had of the of the river. So <laughs> um, because it went downhill very fast after that. Um, but yeah, so we did manage for a good like two hours. And I will come back to what the guy said at the beginning about the waterfall, right? Um, it was, it was like a mini waterfall. Like he was joking, right? But it felt like a mini waterfall. Like I can't really explain it, but I'm gonna do the best I can. So we came up on a rapid and it literally was like a rock. And then it like came down, like it stepped down. So there was like an L shaped rock and you can see the water, like water falling down it. And it was significant. Like it was small. Like it wouldn't have been like like you wouldn't have looked at it and said, oh, what a pretty waterfall. It wasn't really a waterfall, but it was a significant step down from like from the upper where we were to to down below. And it was so scary. And like the space wasn't big enough. It was just barely big enough for a kayak. And obviously because we were on the tandem kayak, it it didn't it didn't move as well as if you were on your own kayak. And so it was really hard to control. And so we managed to get down the rapid, 
but we were trying so hard to get away from the tree that was off to the right that I watched my sister just like, you know, hit the tree and we just flipped over and she lost her hat. Oh, I lost my shoes too back when I fell an hour in on a like four to six hour float trip. I lost my shoes, which I should have had sandals with backings, but like I said, me thinking that the the trip was going to be nice and calm and easy and I wasn't going to I wasn't going to fall or anything like that. And so I just had them like tucked underneath me and so when I flipped they just the river took them. So we never found them. Um so she lost her hat in that fall um prior to this. So <clears throat> prior to this when I when I fell the first time um, we came across, my paddle was on the opposite side of the river and we couldn't get it. I was petrified and I had, didn't have shoes and so I wasn't going to be able to get it. So the other three people that were with me were trying to figure out a way to get it. But to get over there, it was like the fastest part of the rapids. There was a bunch of rocks and there was just no way we were going to hurt ourselves. We are not experienced in that at all. So these ladies came down, these older ladies came down and we were like, can you help us get the you know, our, our paddle. Well, they went right past it and they like, they beast mode it back up the river, up against the current and grabbed our, my paddle. And I, it was amazing. I was just like, I feel like a failure <laughs> at this point. So anyway, going back to our second flip, we had just right before we, my sister and I flipped, uh, we had passed those same ladies and they told us, we were like, Hey, do you know where we're at? Um, obviously they kind of knew more than we did. There was a lot of pretty experienced people on the river, um, which makes sense because it was a little bit scary. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, so we yelled out, we're like, Hey, where are we at? Like, you know, how close are we to our stopping point? And they're like, Oh, you're like within the last mile out of the nine miles that this float trip was, she, she yelled back at us, you're, you're within the last mile. So I'm just like, let's just get through this because by this point we were all done except for TJ. She loves it. And no hate to her either. Um, she never would have known, like she enjoyed it. So she just assumed that we would because we enjoyed like being on the lake and stuff. And so I, I like feel bad that we didn't enjoy it so much. I know she might watch this video. So hi. Um, <laughs> if you watch to this point, um, no, I mean, she loved that stuff and I am like more power to her. I already told her that I probably won't do that with her again, but, um, but anyway, she had a lot of fun. But by that point, uh, we were within the last mile and we were like ready to be done. And so right before that, like after she told us that we flipped, she lost her hat and yeah, it was, it was tough. And I think at that point, we were we were just all done. Um, I was hurting so bad. Like the rocks were so they weren't jagged, which was good, right? It was a river, so the river the rocks were really smooth, but the water took you so fast that you just knocked your legs on these rocks. So I'm not gonna show my bruises, but I do have bruises up and down both of my legs because of this. Um, I don't want to like trigger anybody or anything like that. Just take my word for it. They're pretty bad. Um, but luckily, thank the Lord, we did not like hurt ourselves too bad. My sister, um, she kind of hit her foot on that second fall. And so, and it swelled up really bad. And she said she was having a hard time like standing and stuff and walking. Um, so hopefully that's not like too big of a deal, but that was like the worst, uh, hurt that we had. I know her friend was kind of, uh, beat up too and battered and <laughs> sunburned and stuff like that. You know, like I said, it was 60, 65 degrees and we all had like, long sleeve shirts on and leggings and dry fit clothes and stuff like that. And so we weren't like, we were mostly covered. It's not like we were planning on swimming or anything like that. Um, and so we didn't really think about sunscreen a whole lot. So we kind of got sunburned and, um, we were battered and bruised. And <laughs> I will admit that when I saw the pole that indicated that we were at the end, I cried a little because I was just so exhausted. I was like falling asleep on the way there because I was mentally and emotionally so exhausted that I was just zoning out. And like I said, I couldn't enjoy like the beauty of the river because of that. So it was a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> um, but I am very thankful that we are done with it. Um, I tried to tell my friend too that like, you know, we would have never known that we wouldn't have liked it until we tried it. I 
don't know if there was ever a situation where some we could have gotten into a position where someone could have told us like hey maybe not do this like this is kind of what to expect it's a little bit rough um the rapids on the river if you know anything about rapids they're ranked um and i think that there's i, I don't know how many exactly there are but the rapids that were on the buffalo river were uh one and two degree rapids um which are like the lowest I think there might be a zero, but these were one and twos. And I was still really scared. <laughs> like that was still really hard for me personally. Um, if you like a thrill, if you like the idea of bungee jumping, or if you like roller coasters, um, and you don't get scared of stuff like that, river rafting is for you. If you do get scared of stuff like that, don't do it. Don't put yourself through that it's it was hard um I know we mentioned that if the water had maybe been uh, a little bit warmer or if the day would have been a little bit warmer it might not have been so scary it might not have been so terrifying or or like it, unpleasant um because a lot of times if we like we took on water like a lot okay hold on I know that this part is going like super long like I said hopefully you grabbed some uh a drink and just kind of uh, snuggled up and listened, but I wanted to say a, a story about this sponge. Okay, so <laughs> the instructor at the beginning, um, the one who was like, if in doubt, paddle it out. I roll my eyes at that now because it was like not helpful. Like, it was, it was helpful, but like I, I panicked a lot. <laughs> um, but anyway, he also gave us these sponges, right? He gave us two of these sponges for the three boats that we had. And he said, okay, so you're not going to have any sort of like, you know, water prevention or anything like that. We were on a sit-on kayaks. And so it was really easy for water to come in, especially if we hit like a really, um, a really intense rapid. And I'm a little bit on the heavier side. So obviously my boat is going to be farther into the water. And so my boat really took on some water. <laughs> And so he said, okay, well, we have these sponges here. Why don't you like just keep them in your boat? And when you get a little bit of water, just kind of sponge it out, right? <laughs> I laugh at this now because there was no sponging out the amount of water that went into our boats, okay? There was no amount. These were useless. The thing that the, we had to try to keep these because we didn't know if we were going to get charged for them or anything like that. Obviously, I have one because I'm like, I'm taking the freaking sponge, right? This useless sponge. <laughs> uh, but like we were trying, like every time someone flipped, one of the sponges was on the boat and we had to go chase after it. So we lost one of them. And another one we, we lost again when someone flipped over who had it and someone brought it back to us. They're like, hey, did you lose a sponge? The useless sponge that by the time it was in the water, it was totally useless. Uh, I mean, it's it's funny now, but like we got to the end and we're like, what a useless sponge. <laughs> like what what made like I had so much water in my boat and we had a lot of water in our boats by the time like every time we went over some sort of rapid, we had to pull off multiple times, get out and flip it so we could not freeze because of the frozen water, the 40 degree water in our boat. So this, this sponge was a joke. <laughs> I wanted to throw that in there because <laughs> it was a joke. Anyway, overall, it was a decent experience. I think averaging the really fun experience we had with the with the camping, with the below average experience we had with the floating, I think it all evened out to being decent. I really enjoyed the aspect of not being able to be on my phone and stuff like that. Like it was kind of a little bit of a social media cleanse. <laughs> and yeah, and I, I, I really enjoyed it. I won't float again. <laughs> it was not fun. It was not fun. I'm telling you now. If you don't like stuff like that, if you don't like roller coasters, if you don't like anything, if you're like me and you're a little bit on the like, I like to stay in my comfort zone situation, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, anyway, I know this went really long. Like I'm looking at my time now, unedited. It's almost 30 minutes that I've been sitting here and talking. So hopefully you're not totally bored. I guess if you're, if you are, that's fine. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to kind of talk about my experience just because it was such an experience, 
So I wanted to give a little bit more detail for those who wanted it, maybe. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had an amazing week. Um, I am about to record another video, actually, of me opening, if you are familiar with Smart Doll, of opening the, um, I think it's Attica, Attica Dolls Flex Body. Uh, I ordered that last week and I got it in. So uh, I took a little sneak peek and I'm about to actually record the unboxing. So uh, look out for that. I don't know if this video is going to come first or if that one's going to come first. But anyway, if I look the same, that's why. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I know this is all over the place. It wasn't as much smart all content as I wanted, but it was still fun. Um, I hope you have an amazing day. I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.